Good morning. So we are on our way to case out my next overnight camping spot, a train station. I'm so freaking happy. So not only are we gonna overnight camp at this train station tonight, um, but we are also going to be catching the train bright and early tomorrow morning uh, to Grand Rapids where hopefully there'll be some restaurants in the area within walking distance. I can have lunch, hang out a little bit in Grand Rapids, take the train back. So guys, we're gonna be hanging out at the train station tomorrow. We're gonna be riding it tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a, a full day at the train station tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. So uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy it. I freaking love trains. I'm so excited for this overnight uh, camping video because to me, trains are therapeutic. I love the sounds of them. I can go to sleep to the sounds of trains. Some people can't, I freaking love it. And uh, I've only rode a train once in my life. So tomorrow morning when I get on the train, it'll be the second time. So I'm actually looking forward to it. So that's where we're headed. We're on our way to go case it out. So I'll see you when we get so, there. So here we go, Amtrak parking. Okay, here we go. Parking. All right, here's the parking lot, guys. Okay. Here's the parking lot. Okay. Okay, there's still a few spots. But it's, they're packed. My goodness. I mean, look, look at the parking. They are packed. There's like no parking. We are gonna literally have to leave early. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, there's a few parking spots. Now I know where the free overnight parking is located for the train station. Um, and more importantly, I know now that I need to leave early because they are already limited in spots. As you guys saw, they didn't really have any spots. Probably like eight spots left, uh, maybe 10. And I don't know if anybody who's already parked there are gonna come back. So we definitely gotta leave early tonight. Also, I'm driving my car. I forgot to mention, I'm driving my car because I wasn't sure what the parking was gonna look like. I didn't know if it was garage parking. They weren't really clear on that. So I wanted to make sure that my van could fit wherever I needed to park and it wasn't garage parking or low parking, like like uh, going in somewhere where it's low level parking or anything like that. That's why I'm driving my car. It's a plus, I'm driving my car, you know, keeping the battery alive, keeping the tires good. But I'm driving my car because I wasn't sure what the parking situation was gonna look like once I got there. But now I know that my van is gonna fit, everything is fine. Yes, yes, I will see you guys tonight our overnight camping um, adventure at the Amtrak train station. I'll see you guys tonight. What is good? I'm back and we are headed to the Amtrak uh, train station overnight parking. Remember uh, earlier uh, this morning when we went, there was literally probably eight to 10 spots. Uh, it's almost 4.30. Uh, now and I'm a bit nervous. I'm truly truly hoping that there is going to be some available Parking spots when we get there. If not, that's gonna be a problem So we're headed there now and I will see you guys when we get there about the sound I got the heat on but uh let me make sure I know where to turn and I'll be right back on we are here please let there be parking here it is we're here let's see if there's parking oh man it just doesn't even look good right now the two that were open earlier today are now gone 
Okay, that spot is open. Anything in the back? Oh, the back is open. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we got it, we got it. All right, here we go. Ooh, we're gonna park right next to this truck. So let me park and get situated and I'll come right back on. Okay, we're here. Um, there's still plenty of parking right there in front of me. And then there's parking right there. I wanted to park over there in that corner, but I didn't want to stand out. Uh, so I just parked next to this truck. And there's one spot between me and him. So up. this is where I'm parked. I'm backed in. I'm almost tempted to park going forward, but I always told myself I'm never going to do that. I'm always going to back in. So we're here. Um, there's the train station right there, like right there. So yeah, I, I think what I'm going to do now before I get comfortable is I'm going to get out and walk and see if I can find the train station from here because I have to walk up some stairs to the train station and I need to make sure I know how to get there before tomorrow. So let's go see if we can find this train station and then we'll head back. So come on. So this is where I'm parked. There's the truck. And then there are some spots there and spots there. And then there's the train station. So we're gonna go see if we can, if I know how to get to that train station before tomorrow. It's just gonna be a quick little walk and then we'll head back. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the stairs I'm assuming. Wow, gotta be, my goodness. I was gonna park here, right there, but I decided not to. So let's walk up the stairs. You know, actually, I didn't see that spot. I should park right there because it's, I might actually park right there because it's right in front of these stairs and I'll be walking at nighttime. So, all right, I might move. All right, up the stairs we go. Oh my goodness. Ooh, can't complain, parking's free and overnight. Oh my goodness. Here's the overlook. There we are down there. There's the parking lot. It's pretty high. All right. Let's go find the train station. Okay, we're almost there. All right, that's not bad. Uh, I'm assuming these are the stairs that I go down. And there's the train station. I know how to get there. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move to that open spot that's right in front of the stairs because I am gonna be leaving in the morning. They open up at 6.30 and I wanna be there by 6.30. So I don't wanna walk at night on um, this long path. So I'm gonna move my van and I'm gonna park between that BMW and that Prius. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. I ended up moving spots. Now you see I'm in a new location. Um, as you can see, um, the stairs are right in front of my van, so I don't have to walk far at all. And then now I'm between a Toyota Prius and a BMW. So yeah, now I'm in the thick of things. I'm right in the mix. And uh, stairs are right there. So I feel better with this location. I feel like it's safer, it's closer. I don't have to walk uh, pretty far uh, to get to those stairs. And um, more lights. You see more lights, um, more lights in the area. So yeah, I feel better. All right, I'll see you guys once I get comfortable.
here are the finished results, guys. Spicy rice, eggs, and cheese. So this is egg fried rice with a kick. Can y'all hear that? That's my heater. Um, I woke up, it was freezing in here. So I put the heat, heat on. The lowest it got in here was 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It is now 41 and it feels so warm. The floor is warm, the, the whole cab is warm. Notice that smoke is not coming out of my breath like it normally is. I put the heater on and I put it on boost. So it's it's on, on the highest it can go to cool to warm up this cab. First bite goes to you. I'm enjoying my time. I fell asleep and I heard like two trains so far. Oh my gosh. I'm so I'm loving this place. Mm, mm, mm. Well, this egg fried rice with chili pepper oil is nice. Here, have one more bite. After this, I'm gonna go back to bed. Mm, mm, mm. It's the best I've ever slept. Fell asleep and was like, crap, I have to eat. Ooh, it feels good in here. I still haven't filled up my propane. It's still making it. <clears throat> but yet again, I'll tell you, it took a minute to start the stove. <laughs> because my stove runs off propane. Ooh, this rice is spicy. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, man, I feel good. I'm gonna turn the heat off when I get back in the bed, but like an hour before I get up, I'm gonna put it back on. So that when I get up, it's nice and warm in here. Mm. Next time, put some spinach in here. Like I said, I'm just trying to use up whatever food I have left. I don't want to buy anything else. And the one thing I always have is eggs. I love eggs because you can buy a lot of them cheap and you can stretch them out for many, many days. If you're trying to save money, eggs is the way to go or oatmeal, and I haven't had oatmeal on this uh, channel yet. But I like my oatmeal savory. I don't like sweet oatmeal. Mm. It feels so good in here. I wonder what the temperature is outside. It's probably in the 20s, like 20 degrees, 21 degrees because the lowest it got in here was 32. I realized that my van is pretty insulated. I sleep with all three of my covers now. I take my fleece and I put it in the crack along my bed. So if there's any breeze coming from the crack, it blocks it. Then I get in my sleeping bag, zip it all the way up, and put my comforter on top. Ooh, I'm so warm and toasty. Current temp in here, 45 degrees, so it's it's climbing. I got the heater set to 65 degrees, which I think is a, is a happy medium, given that it's probably in 20-something degrees outside. Or even less than that because it is cold. Mm. This is nice.
Tomorrow should be fun. I'm sad. It's over. I'll see you guys in the morning for our fun-filled adventure. Who knows? I might spend two days here because when I get back tomorrow from doing everything, it's going to be like seven at night. I don't know if I'm going to want to drive. Depending on the weather and what everything is looking like, I might just jump in this van and go right back to sleep. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get my van ready for departure like I said I was when I get up in the morning. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel and what time it is. All right, guys. I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good morning. Um, I have to get ready. So, yeah, we're going to knock this stuff out real quick. Uh, I'm going to get ready to get up out of here. And, um, yeah. Train station opens up in about an hour. So, I need to hurry up and get everything together. Now it's time to get ready to wash up. These are cold shower wipes, deodorant. I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face, and change to my clothes. So I'll see you guys when I'm done getting dressed. Time to go. 6.30. It snowed a little bit last night. Uh. Okay, so I moved my van. I'm parked here. More space, uh, better parking. Uh, right in front of the train station so I can see it when we pull up. So yeah, the stairs are just right there, so we're not far. So let's go. Those long steps we gotta take. I mean, come on. Now nah, I need to get the heart rate going. <sighs> Ooh wee. Look at that. There's the parking lot at night. My van is down there looks good huh oh all right let's get to this train station all right let's go down these stairs Ooh. more stairs I'm ready to go to Grand Rapids and have some lunch. I can't wait to ride the train. I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are as excited as me. Let's go have a seat. Thanks for your help. Watch your step. Be careful. Either way, left or right. Can I go left? Oh, 
wow. This is the bathroom. As you can see, the door is locked, pushed to lock. It's a small bathroom, but fair, really clean. There's the door. So I'm gonna use the bathroom now and I'll be right back. Please take this time to check around. I'm currently in Battle Creek right now, stretching my legs. It's really stuffy on the train, but here's the train. People are like boarding. So right now I'm just stretching my legs. Next stop, Kalamazoo. I'm just trying to figure out how to exit. This train's a bit intimidating on how to exit, how to get on. So right now I'm just getting some air. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the train, but just know that if you get motion sickness, trains may not be for you. They shake a lot. All right, guys, I'll see you guys when I get back on the train. Have a good one. You too, thank, thank you. you. We are here, ready to go to Grand Rapids. Train, bus, Grand Rapids. So when we get to Grand Rapids, we're gonna go get some lunch. Hopefully I will be able to sit in this seat alone, but if not, who cares? So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get to Grand Rapids. I made it to Grand Rapids and I don't see any restaurants in this area. And this area kind of looks sketch for me to be walking around. So I'm gonna walk around for like a few minutes and if I don't see anything, Looks like I'm starving until I get back to my van. I didn't uh, plan this out very well. I don't see any way to walk and get any food, but I'm gonna look around and uh, I'll let you guys know if I find anything. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I found this Founders Brewing Company. They beer and sandwiches, but uh, this might be an option, but I'm gonna see if I can find anything else. I love downtown, or this ain't downtown, but I love Grand Rapids. And this is Grand Rapids, guys. I mean, look at the beautiful, artwork on the building it's just so so much culture and history down here all right guys so i'm gonna look around and see if i can find any other eatery places because right now that's looking like my only option all right we're gonna go to this pub we're gonna give it a try i see people going in oh they got a lot of snow here Holy crap, that sandwich was good. It was a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. And uh, it came with horseradish sauce, but I told him I didn't, I didn't know what it tastes like, so to take it off. But he said he'll put it on the side if I want to try it, and I tried it. And let me tell you, that horseradish sauce is the best sauce I've ever had. So I just had the sandwich and the sauce and the onions. It was so, so good, I'm so stuffed. All right guys, I'm headed back to the train station and I'll see you guys in a bit.
Thank you. You too. back at my baby um i really hope you guys enjoyed the couple days that we uh hung out we hung out uh last night and all day today um i hope you enjoyed the overnight camping at the train station i hope you enjoyed uh riding the trains and the bus and eating out and just enjoying downtown uh or just enjoying grand rapids and just enjoying the places that we uh saw along the way um i know i did I wanted to thank you guys again for your support, spending just a little bit of your time with me, watching my videos, commenting, means the world to me. But it's time to go. Your girl's tired. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.